Still heaven or hell, decide which now, do not delay. Come on, my brothers, let us pray. Decide which now, do not delay. Come on, my brothers, let us pray. Decide. Why is the method of performing salah for man and woman different? The question posed was that why is the method for performing salah of man and woman different? As I mentioned, there are several books available in the market describing the method of offering salah. And most of them have separate chapters of how a woman should perform salah and how a man should offer salah and the postures are different. In fact, there is not a single authentic hadith which says that the woman should offer salah different than the men. There's not a single authentic hadith. In fact, if you read Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of characteristics of salah, chapter number 63, Umma Abdarda, may Allah be pleased with her, she sat in tashahud, like the men, and she was a woman well-versed in religious affairs. There are several hadith narrated by Hazrat Aisha, by the other wives of the Prophet, and other lady companions, may Allah be peace with them all, mentioned Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and various Sahih hadith, but none of them say that there is a particular different method and different postures for a man and woman to offer salah. The answer is very clearly given, as I mentioned earlier, in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adan, chapter number 18, hadith number 604, and Sahih Bukhari, volume number nine, hadith number 352, the prophet said, pray as you have seen me praying. So the men and women should offer salah in the same postures and same way. Hope that answers the question.